what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my review for spiral no spoilers so don't worry uh, i just saw the film later this or earlier this evening at this time when you see it it'll be wednesday morning when you hear this uh, i saw it tuesday night so this movie honestly impressed me in more ways than one uh not to say that it was the most amazing saw film to ever be created but this is definitely up there with those first three films uh, I'm honestly going to have to put it right next to Saw 2. I'm going to put this movie above Saw 3. I'm going to put this film above Saw 3 right next to Saw 2. Uh, definitely impressed with this movie overall. I came out of the theater mostly with more pros than cons. This movie does a good job at realizing what worked so well for that original film while also doing uh, everything that you have come to love about those later sequels including all the gory things that you would want to see in a saw film they're present tobin bell unfortunately uh while the jigsaw killer is not present in this film he is very much felt throughout since his name is brought up many times this is coming to us of course from chris rock who had an original idea for the for the film and it's about him working in the shadows of his father he plays the character detective ezekiel zeke banks and he partners with a rookie to take charge of an investigation into a grisly murders that are eerily reminiscent of the city's gruesome past unwilling unwittingly entrapped in a deepening mystery zeke finds himself at the center of the killer's morbid game now, the film also stars Samuel Jackson, Max Minghella, Marisol Nichols, who you see on your screen here, um, and then Zoe Palmer. Now, like I said, this film understands what worked for that soft for that original soft film. I very much felt the, the psychological aspect up in this entry definitely was one of the things that were becoming lesser as the series was progressing. It was just becoming mostly about, you know what convoluted narrative can we throw at you this time while throwing while showing you a sequence of just gruesome kills for the rest of the film that's my honest opinion on what those sequels were becoming after the third film because again i am a fan of the original film but that those sequels i can honestly just sometimes i don't even bother watching them I mean, it's not that they're unwatchable it's just they're they're very convoluted after the third film in my opinion this movie spiral from the book of saw is a nice restart uh, nice reset button honestly it's not doing anything overly impressive in terms of the narrative twist that comes like we all know will happen indefinitely in any of these films they're they're known for their twist so you're gonna have a twist here uh i was satisfied with the twist i think the twist is something that is something that would make sense it it, it doesn't have too many question marks to it there are some things that are logically flawed about the film honestly though at the end of the day but Still, at the, at the end of the day, with the performances from Chris Rock, who definitely shocked me the most in this role, and Samuel L. Jackson, who there's never been a performance from Samuel L. Jackson that I have had to give a thumbs down to. He he is amazing in this role uh, as Ezekiel's father, played by Chris Rock again. Chris Rock surprises me the most here. There are some times where I feel like his... There are some moments of dialogue in the film where you obviously know that he had a helping hand in writing some of this stuff in here. And there might be a word or two that you probably don't want to hear anymore after seeing this film. So the dialogue might be a little bit of an issue. Uh, I will say that's one of the negatives that I have with the film, some of the dialogue. But other than that, definitely more into telling a story and progressing and seeing this story build up to its climax with a resolution and everything coming together in a nice bow not necessarily the neatest bow but it's just nice to see a saw film that once again is going back to putting an interest in developing and telling a a story that keeps your keeps your interest through the entire film not to say that the other movies are boring or anything but it's just like i feel like there was more less focus on telling a story more so than there was focus on getting the goriest thing you can display on screen and there is a lot of gore in this film spiral is not without any gore it is not holding back this is definitely up there with some of the best gore sequences that i've seen in this franchise the cinematography is just amazing the, the way this movie looks it's nothing but compliments to everything and it helps sit set the mood so well it helps keeps you locked in throughout the whole entire ride 
Uh, we have the returning director as well, who we know has participated in the other Saw films, Darren Lynn Bozeman. He does an amazing job just keeping you engaged. And this film is just very, there is no pausing or any time to breathe, honestly, from the moment the credits roll, or not the credits roll, but from the moment the first shot is on, on your screen, Spiral will keep your attention. Very tense, very... Uh, It'll get your heart going. It'll definitely keep you engaged. And the traps, the traps, of course, are just as inventive as ever. I'm not saying that these traps are something that will be, oh, my gosh, wow. But it's just like nice to see some traps that once again are inventive. And it's honestly after Jigsaw, I was certain this franchise was not going to be able to bounce back. Spiral, again, is not without its flaws by no means. It's not a perfect film. It's not better than the original I did like the movie overall. It is a well-made film. It just has some narrative hiccups along the way. And some moments from Chris Rock with his performance could have been better. Honestly, that's just my honest opinion. Samuel Jackson knocked it out of the park. Chris Rock, he did fine for what he was given. He did not come across as like being miscast overly in the film. There were some moments where I'm like, okay, maybe you aren't the best fit for this. But overall, Chris Rock, he surprised the hell out of me. He did a great job in this type of film and everyone involved delivered terrific performances. The nods to John Kramer are present, of course, and the way everything comes together in the end, it's very pleasing, very pleasing. The only thing I will say is that uh, the social commentary that this film goes for, which if you've seen the trailers and you've seen the numerous clips and you know what the general synopsis is, this is something that would fit this franchise, given the nature of what Jigsaw John Kramer has done in the past over the course of those other films. This is a franchise that has room to make comments on these situations, these type of situations that are going on in today's society, because it's been addressed before in the throughout the franchise. But now this movie is just all about those smaller aspects of previous saw sequels now we're it's about an entire police department uh so i really enjoyed the film i think it is going to shock a lot of you in terms of how it plays out but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future i'm gonna go ahead and give this movie an honest seven out of ten and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video